Hello guys, it's Mashtech here. Today I want to show you how to set Emulation Station as your default launcher on the RG350M. I'll share the required script with you and guide you through the steps to apply it to your device. Enjoy! This guide assumes that Emulation Station is already installed to your device. If you don't have installed it yet, take a look at my video up here that shows you how to install it. So if you own a RG350M and you like to use Emulation Station as your default frontend, you're at the right place now. Grab your device and let's go through the required steps together. Alright, so first we need to download the script that does the job for us. Therefore, I put you a link into the video description and it takes you to my Google Drive where I share the script with you. Find the download button up here, click on it and download the front end start script. As the download is complete, switch over to your download folder and there you should find the front end underscore start script. Now that we've downloaded the script, it's time to make a connection to our RG350. I'm using WinSCP to make the connection to my RG350M. So open up WinSCP and make a connection to your RG350M. In WinSCP we need to navigate to a folder called Media Data Local Sbin. This is the place where we need to drop the front end start script into. So just take it and simply drag and drop it into that folder. There is one last step to do to make the script executable. Just right click on the front end start script, choose properties and in this area select all the X boxes here to make the script executable. Confirm your selection by pressing the OK button and you're done. Let's do one last check and navigate over to the media data apps folder and ensure that your emulation station.opk file in that folder is all written in small letters. So emulation station.opk all in small letters. All right guys, now it's time to test the script. Let's switch over to our RG350 and restart it. As you can see, it is that easy to make Emulation Station your default launcher on the RG350M. If you don't want your RG350M to start into Emulation Station anymore, simply navigate back to the Media Data Local Aspen folder, select the script, right click on it and delete it. That's all you have to do. I hope you find this video helpful. If you liked it, let me know with a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. This solution also works for the RG350, but I made it first place for the RG350M. It was a little tricky to get it work correctly, but in the end I found a solution and I wanted to share it with you guys. Enjoy it and have a good time, you're Smashtech.